Hello friends and welcome back to edupediaworld.com. In the last session we have discussed about that how price and output decisions are taken in short run under monopoly. Now in this session we will be continuing with how price and output decisions are taken in the long run under monopoly. See the decision rule regarding what is the optimal output and what is the optimal pricing in the long run are as same as it was in the short run. But in the long run, as compared to the short run, the producer or the monopolist also gets an opportunity to expand the size of its firm in order to enhance the long run profits. Now, again, the expansion of the plant size is subject to various conditions and these conditions are the size of the market, the expected economic profit, the risk of inviting legal restrictions. So these are the conditions which limits the capacity of a, of a particular monopolist in order to expand the size of the firm. Now let us assume that for the time being that there are no conditions, there are no limits for the expansion of a monopoly firm and let's discuss that how price and output is determined under monopoly in the long run. See what happens is we'll depict this with the help of a graph. Again, under monopoly, the firm is the price maker rather than the price taker. So the firm has to determine the price as well as what is the optimal or the profit maximizing output at which it will sell at that price which it will sell. So we see here, we again get a average revenue curve, which is, which depicts the demand curve for the firm and the marginal revenue curve. When the average revenue curve takes this shape, that is, it is sloping downwards. So obviously the result of, of that on the marginal revenue curve is that it will drop at a much faster pace as compared to the average revenue curve. Now again what happens to the optimal size of output through the marginal cost curve we get the optimal size of output. This is the long run marginal cost curve. It cuts the marginal revenue curve at this particular point and this is the optimal quantity which has been determined. This is the profit maximizing output. Revising upon this particular point shows that the marginal cost is equals to marginal revenue and uh, this point depicts that this is the profit maximizing output. Now in order to decide about the prices we need to extend this line to the average revenue curve and here the prices have been determined. This is the price at which the firm will be selling its quantity. Now what about the profits? That whether the firm is making profits or not, it will be decided with the help of the average cost curve. Let's make the average cost curve. This is our average cost curve, the long run average cost curve and it cuts the MQ line at this particular point. So it this actually shows that this is the difference between the average cost curve and the average revenue curve and the average revenue curve is greater that is it falls above the average cost curve. So it shows that average revenue is more than the average cost which depicts a profit situation. So this is the amount of profit which the firm is making. This particular portion is the amount of profit which the firm is making. So we can see here that in the long run the firm is making super normal profits. 
So now here you must be wondering that what is the difference between the short run and long run output determination under monopoly. See the difference here is only because of the size of production. In the long run the monopolist can produce a larger output and charge lower prices and make a larger monopoly profit as compared to the short run. The decision making criteria is the same just only he can increase the size of production. But now this as I told you that in the long run the whether the monopoly can increase the size of production or not it depends upon three conditions that is what is the size of market then what is the expected economic profit and then the legal restrictions so all these conditions actually limits the firm's capability to expand its size in the long run but if like these conditions allow the firm to expand its size then the firm can definitely reach to a profit maximizing output level of OQ and can hence enhance its long run profits. So this is how price and output is being determined in the long run. In the next session we will be continuing discussing about that what is price discrimination under monopoly and what are the various degrees of price discrimination. Till then have a nice time and thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.